The Youth Risk Behavior Survey is given to 6th through 12th grade Duval Public School students every two years since 2009. Teen organizations like Jasmine, who attend the annual release every year, believe the survey is an essential tool to get into the minds of students. The most valuable part of the survey is that it's self-report. So we're hearing directly from teenagers what kinds of risks they're taking, what kinds of challenges they're facing in their lives on a day-to-day -day basis, and particularly at school. The survey includes six categories of health-related behaviors. Officials say there were a number of categories that saw a significant trend in the wrong direction. For instance, students surveyed who reported they rarely or never wore a seatbelt. That number, now 52.8%, an increase from 10 years ago. The electronic bullying category saw a similar trend, that number increasing to 23%. And then for students who were surveyed who reported that they were sexually active, only about half of those students reported they used a condom. Leaders at Jasmine use this data to create teen health programs. It helps us design anti-bullying programs. It helps us know where the hot spots are. It helps us know if the programs we're designing are getting any, are, are making a difference. Duval students will take the survey again this year. Classrooms are selected randomly and students will have an option to opt out. Reporting, Atia Collins, First Coast News, on your side.